couple of people have asked um, about the wiring and what I've done with the interior harness and stuff like that. So just do a quick little video. I can't explain too much into the pinouts and everything like that because I can't really remember. But um, yeah, basically just pulled this harness out and used what I've needed. And this is the engine harness side, which comes with it. So that come, basically comes through that panel I've made. Um, run straight over there and then you've got your ECU relays and fuses and whatever but um, you need a main feed to it so I've run a main main power lead through and then I've got my um, terminal 15 then which is up to this little fuse box so that's basically it for the moment what it's going to be is going to be a centre console over the top of it in the process of making it now high low shifter and obviously the BMW shifter the 6HP that's the high low cable um, that is the fuel pump relay which has to take a signal off the um, ECU to turn on and off and yeah that's basically it and obviously the shifter wiring um, a couple of wires up there a couple of can wires which are tucked in uh, one of the looms somewhere basically a resistor and then your throttle cable wiring which is run straight over there run into your starter relay so it's not too complicated but it's just tidying it all up oh there's the OBD cable then and that's going to be going in the side of my centre console which I'm making the centre box is going to be over here um, basically going to make up a hinge like two plates and a bolt, two plates and a bolt there, and a hinge on the box, so the box can flip up that way, so I can access all this. So it's all readily accessible for anything that may happen in the future. Hopefully nothing. And then this box is gonna have a frame just built around it, so I can just bolt the sides, bolt the sides off. That's all gonna be carpeted. All the wood's gonna be carpeted. And then um, just a couple of bolts in the side then so you can bolt the two the two sides off. Um, basically cut the sides to shape one either side and then bolt the deconnector inside and then that's about it for that. And then the engine bay is pretty much done. We've got a main fuse to our ECU. Um, we've got a spare cable here which I've just run through. It's not connected to the battery or anything yet, but just in case I need another power inside for anything. Um, what else have I got? I've got a washer bottle over there. Ford Falcon washer bottle. Um, temp sensor gauges are on, all the temp sensors working, it's running nice temp. And yeah, so I got my key. Key on, fuel pump running. And then. The other thing I've wired is the diff lock selector, which are them wires there. So that goes down to my diff lock, and yeah. 
So all I got left then is to make an exhaust. There's the um, dual battery in it. Uh, this one was the just a sp split charge relay, basic sort of set up. It was in it already. I done it a while back. Um, so they go on it while I'm on about electrics and stuff. Basically got um, deep cycle battery. Just gotta connect my USB up. And yeah, split charge relay. And then in the back, yeah, excuse the junk in the back. Basic solar controller, fuse box, and a little switch panel for the back end. And a big solar panel which goes on the roof. But I put the solar panel on my boat at the minute. But we can take it back off or buy another one. So go off grid. It's a massive panel. Um, keeps the batteries alive for keeps the fridge going for a couple of couple of weeks anyway. So yeah, that's the dual battery system as well to go with the rest of the the new looms and things like that. Yeah. So just quickly the. AC um, evaporator and fan blower, and that's basically where the center console is going to be. It's going to be snug up against there, the two sides, and obviously then the wiring behind it and the box on the hinge, like I said. This is my aircon system I fitted um, about a year or so ago. Works really well, aftermarket. Um, found some guy up in what I think was Bundaberg. He does whole kits. You may basically just measure up what you want and uh, tell him what you need, what kind of bends you need, and what joints, and then sends it all to you. Then, so chucked it all together, and it's really good. Blow quite well. Two big blowers in it. And there's the wiring underneath and so you can just access everything I didn't want to tuck it all away and that is the interior coming along anyway